Hi, I'm uh, Kritika. Uh, today we'll have a session on metadata access service. So let's go to the agenda. Metadata access service features in 10 to 1, enhancement features in 10 to 2, adapters enabled through metadata access service, and I'll wrap up with a demo. So let's begin. Uh, so before uh, knowing the features in 10 to 1, let's understand why do we need metadata access service and what is metadata access service. So prior to 10 to 1, uh, in 10 to 0 and prior versions, we did not have any service called as metadata access service. So, so to connect to uh, the Hadoop cluster, we had to download the cluster configuration XMLs, select distribution specific folder, and put the put all of these XMLs in those folders in our developer tool machine. We had to import the krb file.conf ktap file and place them also in developer tool machine, perform an external play in it, and then uh, we would be able to connect to Hadoop. So all performing this on all developer tool machines was a really tedious task. That's why we have introduced something called as metadata access service, uh, which would enable the developer tool to access metadata using a remote API. Hence, all the adapter configuration installation needs to be performed at a single location instead of installing at each developer client location. So let's go ahead and understand metadata access features in 10 to 1. Support for Hadoop adapters, complex file, edge base, hive, and mapper strings. Kerberos attribute at service level. That states that we do not have to perform any key in it externally. The SPN and KTAP details are mentioned at the metadata access service. Support for login user as impersonation user. Centralized login and admin console. Support for HTTP and HTTPS. Infra CMD and admin console support means metadata access service can be created using Infra CMD or using admin console. Let's go ahead and understand uh, the features uh, of 10 to 2 and the enhancement. Support for logged in user as impersonation user and OSP user. So that means we can uh, we can support Hadoop impersonation user uh, in metadata access service. Mass out of process single mass support for different distributions. That means we do not have to recycle metadata access service when there's a distribution change or we do not have to create multiple metadata access service. Centralized and improved login in admin console. We can set the login level to debug trace to understand the issues. The login should be shown in admin console itself. If we have any grid architecture, backup node support is there. Metadata access service would come on backup node if the primary node fails. Support for non hadoop adapters like Google Storage. Moving ahead, let's understand how to create a metadata access service from Informatica admin console. New metadata access service MAS give a name assign a license provide the node if you have a grid setup you can select a backup node apparently I do not have so in case your primary node is down the secondary node metadata access service will be up and running on the secondary node assign a port you can assign HTTP or HTTPS port in case you have any custom trust store or key store files, you can assign them as well. You can enable use operating system profiles and impersonation. In case your cluster is Kerberized, please mention Kerberos service principal name and please mention the Hadoop Kerberos KTAP path. The KTAP path has to be on the, your Informatica server location. In case you want logged in user as impersonation user, please ch check box that as well. For logs, uh, you can have uh, increase the logging level to trace and debug in case of failure to enable better logging. And that's how we create metadata access service from our admin console. Moving ahead, let's understand how to import data objects from your Hadoop cluster, uh, let it be a relational data object or a complex data object or edge space data object. You can import them using metadata access service. So in case you have only one metadata access service, it will be set as default. If you have multiple, you can select which metadata access has to be used. So I have created a project called mass demo. Here I go to new data object. As Hive con comes under relational data object, I'm selecting a Hive connection. I am browsing through the tables I have. 
and I perform an import of a table here. So the same happens with complex file as well. That is the objects or data that you have on your HDFS. You have to select a connection and you can select the object. So finally note that I have not uh, imported any XML files uh, and had them in my developer tool setup. You do not need to have all of them having mass. That's how we perform an import using metadata access service. This brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time and patience. In case you have any doubts, you can refer to the KB mentioned below. We would love to hear from you. If you have any feedback, please provide them at the below mentioned channels. Thank you. Have a good day.